Hello, this is a Super Anime Turbo Review, and today we're taking a Super Anime Turbo Review of Triangular X Volume 5, Garasaki Art Volume 3, and Multimo Volume 2. So this is a Super Anime Turbo Review. So I went to pick up those three new books last week, on a Friday, so I saw Triangular X Volume 5, Garasaki Art Volume 3, and Multimo Volume 2. So I went to pick up those three books, and it was a cost like around like forty dollars something, and then I pick up those three new books, and I read them on the train station on the way home. So first, let's start off with this Triangular X Volume Five. So Triangular X Volume Five, you have the artwork in the front, you have the size and the numbers of the sides. And also you have it in the back of the info and also the back of the artwork and two sexy you know pop idols which is I like and a mask wolf is the uh, terrorist and the guy who runs the uh, TV station and she is the uh, also on the TV station but she works for the TV station and also there's the poster if I could just open this up which is very nice and on the back of the side if I could just which is kind of nice by the way I really dig this poster up right here so Dragon X Volume 5 is about when when she was on TV on the TV program stations when she was trying to perform when she was performed on the stage with a lot of audience where all suddenly the terrorist came appeared with this one the terrorist one with the wolf and the mask and other costume heroes were dressed the terrorist was dressed as one of those costume heroes who were taking over the TV station if you know what I'm saying. See? They was taking over the TV stations for everything. He calls himself Wow Hunt because he wants the public and the media for his demands by like taking over the TV station. Just like in the movie Die Hard with John Rain, they want the gold money and the money to take over LA Plaza, that big building. Know what you're talking about the uh, Die Hard. So uh, it was taken over the TV station, and all of a sudden, and they also talking about this. Most of my favorite parts is the, uh, you know, the TV media. If I could just find one. If only I could just find one that's my favorite part. But he was on the TV media talking about. He said. It's, his name is uh, Wild Hunt, you know, the wolf guy who is dressed up as a terrorist. I don't know who this guy is. So when all of a sudden he was saw on TV point the girl on the gun right here. And then she was helpless. And then he decided to shoot her. And then all of a sudden the TV and the media, and he decided to shoot her. Right here, if I could just see it, that's what happened there. And now it's up to those two, I mean, it's up to her and those two girls to survive to stop this mank maniac terrorist taking over the TV station. Let's check out one of my favorite parts of the Triangular X Volume 5. My favorite parts is, if only I could just find it. So I'm going to just find one. When she was throwing water on those two girls and so was her, they were like, you know, they were like, what? That was, <laughs> that was funny, you know. They were covered in water and hot sexy, you know, and she was like, ah, gas, how rude. And that was the funniest part. 
And also my favorite part is when this guy told these ladies to line up at the front of the building, he decided to, you know, show them to the guitar. If I could just turn the page. And then those girls were scared that they going that he's going to kill them just like the girl with the glasses. They just like the guy that shot the girl with the glasses. And also my favorites is if I could just My favorite part when the guy fold this toy out of his face, like I mean she fold the toy out of her face and kick him in this face right here. That was my funniest part of all time. Also, I love her wearing the bear costume. And this is my favorite part right here for spoilers. If you know what I'm saying, this is my favorite part. And then these two females start to have a fight, if you know what I'm saying. My favorite part. And also there's a bonus. And also there's a bonus too called, uh, you know, let me just find a bonus. This is where that she was like going under the snow and then killing everybody. That's the bonus page, you know what I'm saying? I really do love this book a lot of Trainer X. Volume 5 and all the Training X series. Uh, if I could just find one. This one is my favorite as well. I really do love this book. I really do love the Training X Volume 5. Up next is Gura Saki Art Volume 3. So you have this one in the front, the sides, and even the back and also there's a poster I guess I could just open this which is so lovely I really do love the uh, Gura series I hope they want to put I hope they want to put Gura Saki art on Adult Swim on Toonami if Toonami do that Gura again I'll be so much happier Put this in there. Oh, there's Suzuha with there's Suzuhima. This is Su Suzuha with the uh, longest list, which I like. So Gurasaki Three Art is about when when the uh, when the Black Rider and the uh, Suzuhima and the girl with the sword saw this when all suddenly these guys were possessed by the uh you know a demon possessed by that sword and then Suzua and the black rider decide to uh stop them before before they're going to get affected like everyone else and also there were all a bunch of zombies affected by the sword by her call her all my children and now they wanted to kill you know Gura, I mean, the Black Rider, and even of course, Suzuo Chima, and those guys want to kill those two, and then this crazy girl wants to kill her. So, they want revenge on Suzuo Chima, and then this girl knows Suzuo Chima before, says, Suzuo Chima, I love you, and he was like, what? And then she wants to kill him. She wants to kill him. And all of that. She says this. And then she gives her some special gloves to beat the crap out of him. You know. And then he was laughing and grabbed her face and spun down on the ground. If you know what I'm saying. And I saw this on, 
I saw those on the old school adult screen show as well. Uh, they were all possessed by that black sword that Sonky was possessing by. And now she wants revenge. And now she wants him back. Now Sagi wants her dead. Now this is kind of like the childhood past of her past, you know what I'm saying? When she was a child, she has a perfect family, a loving life, and then her father was, you know, lost a job. Every day she got herself hurt. She always hurts her, and so is her wife. And she was like, scared of her father. When all of a sudden, Lee, that she was staring at her father, then she was getting a hug. But her father decided to choke her daughter. Then, and this was the craziest thing. Like, wow, this is kind of like the most darkest tone. This is like the show, like from Gura. And then all of a sudden, she was looking at him looking at her child and then she got a sword and then she cut off her husband's head and she was like frightened like and then says mom my father and then then she killed herself for this and this is the most of my favorite parts of all time I really love this part And then she was carrying a sword and pulled this with this demon sword, which I kind of like. And also, there's another part of the past. If I could just find one. If I could find that. If I could just find one. It was right there somewhere. Not her. Oh, there it is. It is the easy way of the violence, which which is one of my favorite parts about this. Uh, Suzu Jima's past, about his childhood past. When he was a kid, he always think about growing stronger, drinking some milk. When he was a kid, he always feels with violence. And that's where he came today, you know, that he became crazier. Just like me, you know, about his childhood past. And also, my favorite part is she was insane. All of it. This is my most of my favorite parts. And my favorite part is when this guy was frightened, he decided to carry a fire extinguisher. Well, those guys who opened the door, then and Susan Hart got. So this is my one of my favorite parts of all time of Gurax. Now up next is Watamo Volume 2. So you have Watamo Volume 2 in the front, the back, I mean the sides, and also the back, which is one of my favorite parts. So Watamo Volume 2 is about when, you know, there's some funny humor, you know, when she was trying to discover how to be popular, get a girlfriend, and all that, and also some other stuff like that. When she got a cousin, she got a cousin from, uh, you know, who came here to visit her and her family. If I can just show you around right now, what she looks like. She looks like, let's see. This one. She looks like Tomo from the uh, Asma Amidalo. You don't know what it is? It was like an old school anime from the 2000s, way back. Before I was watching. So she was having a cousin phase, and you know, that one of the most funniest parts about Volume 2. I look at her crazy eyes. This is one of my favorite funniest parts ever. And even, of course, my favorite, favorite part is the, uh, you know, 
just is when she was reading the manga she decided to go to this uh you know to the card place when she saw all these people bound with cards and all that of the clock queen what is a cute queen it's kind of like one of those card battles that this is one of my favorite parts about this uh, book where she was playing cards she was you know if I could just find that part when she was like slipping her cards in the deck and she also won the battle she's called the queen of cards and then this one's kind of like the funniest part I can't help it <laughs> my favorite funniest part and also my favorite funniest part is the is this that just draw my favorite part and also the ants part as well when she was covered in art when ants cover up her pants uh, this is one of the most funniest parts ever that she was red blushing this was the most funniest parts I've ever I always started laughing like <laughs> And then people start looking at me like, that the boy's crazy. So I really do love these three books. Also, my favorite part that I forgot is when she says this, that even the Rondo Beatles doing it. Again, all the action, just like the cats. <laughs> so this is my, of these three book reviews. I really enjoyed these three books. I really enjoyed these three books, so uh, I really enjoyed them. So, if you really do love the Trigger X Volume 5, Gorak Volume 3, and Rotomo Volume 2, just please subscribe or make a comment about my video of my reviews of my three new book reviews. So, this is Steven Johnson, and I'm signing out in peace. I read some manga. And tomorrow is the uh, Super Bowl, and next week is the um, the Lego Movie, and the other week is the um, Valentine's Day. So this is Steven Johnson, and I'm signing out in peace. And I also got some fighting game videos of my in January 2014 of my matches. It was um, you know, it was a one month only. On July, I mean not July, um, in June, on the one month 2014 of Xbox Live. This is Steve Johnson. I'm signing out. And peace.